Hi, Karen Alari here. Today we're going to talk about painting reflections in acrylic paint. Once you get a couple of techniques under your belt, you'll find painting reflections is very easy and very satisfying, and I think you'll enjoy it a lot. So we're going to work on this little uh, painting that I've started of a few trees being reflected, fall trees being reflected in the water, and this is one of those reflections that's really fairly clear and distinct. In other words, there's not a lot of water movement. So that's the first thing to think about when you're painting your reflections is how much water movement is there there. And of course you can always change that and add more and I'll show you how to do that. But the first thing you want to realize is you're not going to just be painting the same way above the reflection as you do in the reflection. You need a difference. You need to be able to tell that this area is water and this area is the real life image. And so we handle it differently with our brush strokes. The first thing you'll notice I'm doing is as I paint the element above in real life as it were, I, I use varied brush strokes, I use rounded brush strokes, whatever your technique might be that you use to build up paint and to create foliage. You use that when you're working in the real life section of of the painting. When you get down to the reflections, you're just going to drag that color straight down. You're not going to do the same kind of detailed uh, brush strokes as you would do above. Instead, you're just taking that same color and drawing it straight down in vertical brush strokes. And it's important when you're working with acrylics to do the brush strokes in the reflections at the same time as you make what's above. And the reason for that is, of course, the dry time. You want to get that same color uh, in both the reflection and above. So if you wait and do it later, it means you're going to have to be remixing all those colors, which is kind of a pain in the neck. Instead, just go ahead and paint the reflection and the real life element at the same time, just varying your brush strokes and your blending techniques. So when you once you put it in above and then use those vertical brush strokes to pull straight down, you're going to rinse out your brush, tap it dry a little bit, and then come back with horizontal brush strokes like you just saw me doing. What you're doing is basically creating that water flow across the reflection, creating the way the water will make a ripple in, in the reflection so it's not just straight. You'll get these little ripples. So you do that with those horizontal brush strokes while the paint is still wet. You noticing here I'm putting in this tree trunk and the and the shadow onto the ground and you just think about the fact that this is a mirror reflection. So you just follow along the same shapes, get your get your lines up right above each other lined up so that it looks like a mirror of uh, reflection. And then Rinse out your brush, tap it dry a little bit, come back with those horizontal brush strokes in the reflection itself to just give it a little wiggle. Now if the water that you're working with has more ripples, it's maybe a, a windy day and it's creating a lot more ripples, just be a little more forceful with your horizontal strokes and really push that paint around. The key is doing it right away, so you can't move on to another section and then come back. Um, and you don't necessarily want to paint in a ripple, you know, you don't want to take your brush stroke and make a wiggly line because that becomes too distinct. The key is to lay down the paint in vertical shapes, rinse it off, pat it dry a little bit, and then swish back and forth horizontally to move that paint that you've got on the canvas already into the ripples. This particular painting is pretty still, so I'm just doing very subtle rippling with this one. You can see here those brush strokes I'm using above are very distinct. I'm using a technique that I often use with just uh, rolling my brush and tapping it and moving in different directions to create foliage that's interesting and varied. But when I come into the reflection below, you can see I'm just going straight vertical brush strokes. I'm using kind of a soft brush in this. It's a flat synthetic brush. 
Uh, but you can really use whatever brush that you normally use with your technique. But I just want to be able to blend. That's the key. So I'm rinsing, I'm patting, I'm coming back, and I'm blending out the, the brush strokes in the reflection. I'm leaving them kind of bumpy and textured up above, but down below I'm blending them out in horizontal brush strokes. This also has the effect of making reducing the contrast in the reflection. In other words, the lights get lighter and the the lights get darker and the darks get lighter, reducing that contrast. You don't have quite as quite a dark or quite as light of a light in the reflection itself. And by blending those out while they're still wet, just coming in with that soft brush and immediately doing some blending, it has the effect of mixing those colors together a little bit and just reducing that contrast in the reflection. Because the surface of the water is flat. So you don't want to see a lot of brush strokes sitting up on uh, the reflection. You just want that to be a flat blended surface. Don't forget to put your shoreline in. So I'm using a smaller round brush here and my dark color. And I'm just coming in to make a distinct edge right where the shoreline is. You want to be able to distinguish where the shoreline stops and the reflections begin. So you do that with first a dark line which is creates that shadow line of, of where the shore is and then we'll come back in with a lighter line and that lighter line you're going to be using the uh, sky color I think one of the things that people tend to do is use white for this it's basically the little ripples where the water is hitting the shore and creating little water ripples use your sky color don't use pure white if you use pure white it will be too strong of a contrast. So I started with that small round brush and now I've come in with this long thin liner brush. That's just to give me some very thin small lines. When you're doing these ripples you can see I'm barely touching the canvas. I'm moving horizontally across the canvas and uh, creating these small ripple lines. Again if your water has more it has some rocks in it or it has more movement in your water you just create more of these in a still water you're going to create less I'm putting more of the ripples where I want to draw attention and then using my finger to really smooth those out and get a get a smooth transition so that's your easy simple steps use vertical uh, brush strokes blend them out and come back in with your with your reflection lines in your sky color. Hope you enjoy that little uh, reflections talk and we will be talking to you soon. Take care.